Hello, and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another Crime Twisted episode. ...and her nine-month-old granddaughter. My niece-in-law lost her life, and my great-great-niece lost her life, which was born last year on my birthday, which was my birthday present now. I don't have, only gonna have memories of her now. This is all too much for me. This is the story of Princess Jones, age 24, a young mother, whose boyfriend Michael Sanders, age 23, torched down her house where she lived with her family, in the process killing his own daughter Milani Sanders, yeah, aged old, 9 months. Also killed in the inferno was Milani's grandmother, 42-year-old Tiffany Abrams Jones and her grandfather 50-year-old Prince Jones. A fourth person would later die of his injuries in the hospital two weeks after the incident making it a total of four deaths. Man. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like Ooh. button for more stories. A tragic house in Jersey claimed the lives of a grandmother and her nine-month-old granddaughter. This story will be taking us to Trenton, New Jersey. The town is located at the Delaware River, which marks the border between New Jersey and That's Pennsylvania. Big. Trenton dates back to at least 1719 and was once the capital of the United States. Today Trenton is considered part of the New York metropolitan area and also borders the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Two famous people from Trenton are Dennis Rodman and Miles Powell. Princess Jones was a young woman who loved life and enjoyed life. Okay. She had a very great family. Her mom and dad were a big part of her life. She loved them so much and they loved her too. Her mother, 42-year-old Tiffany Aprils Jones was a very happy person. She was married to 50-year-old Prince Jones. They loved each other a lot. They did post about each other on social media. So this fool and killed them two, the baby and the sister, or did they say the daughter? Well, let's see. Their love was always radiating. They had been married for 10 years but had been together for close to 24 years. The love they had for each other was top notch. They recently celebrated their wedding anniversary which was in grand style. Now I wonder how both of them died because somebody should have made it out the house unless he shot them too, which they haven't just, uh, said anything about yet, but both of them? Tiffany would post on social media about random stuffs. She posted on August 31, 2020 saying, Death is hitting families left and right nowadays. God please protect me and mine as well as whoever reads this post. Princess who was dating a young man named Michael Sanders got pregnant and they were expecting a baby girl. Tiffany and all other family members hosted a great baby shower. Okay, they finally here. She looks so cute. Little baby went right to his pumpkin. They here finally. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, Alright, well we can get started. Y'all wanna eat first and then start doing stuff? Okay, y'all officially started. The parents to be is here. Oh! 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 And I seen that the little girl, another little girl, went right to him. Like he's a, it seemed like he was a kid person, but not enough to kill his own. God, I, I gotta get through this. She made sure everything was in place and had their family pictures and videos taken. The grandfather was there dancing at the baby shower, not knowing the person in front of him will be the person to kill him soon. That's the grandpa. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn, she looks beautiful. That's me right there. That's me all the way. Beautiful. That was Not nice. too long after the baby shower, baby Milani was born. She melted the hearts of everyone on the family. They loved her dearly. She was described as a sweet, fun okay. and happy baby. Her mother loved every bit of her. She was so adorable. Things were not that great between the father and the mother though. They had rough patches. This rift between Princess and Michael will eventually lead to the demise of four people. On July 9, 2021, at approximately 3.40 a.m., a f started at 213 Woodlawn Avenue which quickly engulfed both sides of the two-and-a-half-story wood frame duplex, causing a partial roof collapse. Oh, Michael had gotten so not... upset with Princess and her whole family that he decided to burn their whole house down, unfortunately his own daughter was in the building at the time of the inferno. Tiffany Abrams Jones and Michael's nine-month-old baby Milani Sanders were pronounced dead at the scene. Fifty-year-old Prince Jones was rushed to a new... Now see, I have a theory and I want you guys' comments down at the bottom. If a man kills his own child, do you think he believed it wasn't his or he just a child killer? Leave the comments below. Nearby hospital, he later passed away a few days later. Two others were injured in the blaze and treated in the hospital for critical burn injuries. Firefighters who responded to the scene called it one of the most tragic nights in the history of the fire service in Hamilton. A tragic house in New Jersey claimed the lives of a grandmother and her nine-month-old granddaughter. Jennifer Joyce is live in Hamilton Township with the latest there. Jenny. Good evening, Shana. Well, investigators tell me that they are wrapping up here at the scene. They spent all day searching inside the home and around the property, looking for clues as to how and where this devastating started as family members and neighbors grieve such a heavy loss. I'm telling you. People gathering, embracing at the scene of a tragic house fire that claimed the lives of a woman in her 40s and her nine-month-old granddaughter. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Office says three other people are undergoing treatment at St. Barnabas Burn Center in Livingston. It was good people that I saw. They was real good church going people. A man who says he's an uncle of the fire victims arrived at the scene this morning after visiting his nephew at the hospital. He says his nephew has burns over 75% of his body. The family Ooh. is devastated. Unfortunately, my niece in law lost her life and my great great niece lost her life, which who was born last year on my birthday, which was my birthday present now. I don't have only gonna have memories of her now. This is all too much for me. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Office says the fire started just after 3.30 this morning on the 200 block of Woodlawn Avenue. Flames tore through the wood frame duplex. The roof partially collapsed. Now, where was the response time? Like, because that whole thing shouldn't have burned down before somebody seen smoke or something. This is ridiculous. Like, four people's lives is jeopardized because... The response time, how can I have heard anything about the response time on this house fire? I feel bad for them, including a little baby. Joe Shama says he owns the other half of the duplex recently restored, now heavily damaged. He says his tenants in two separate units got out safely. They're shaking up, yeah, I saw them right away. Like four o'clock, I came over, I saw them. The Red Cross is assisting three heartbroken families. They're offering more than shelter. It's important to us to be here for the families, to make sure that, you know, we're, we're meeting emotional needs and, and support, just being there, someone to, to hug. We're going to lead us in the Lord's hand. We're going to pray on this. This was something he had been planning for a while. Michael had texted Milani's mother the previous night to get their baby out of the house. According to the prosecutor's office, Detectives working on the investigation retrieved video from numerous cameras. So he could text them and tell them to get the baby out the house, but everybody else can go. So I wonder what, why they didn't leave if he warned them. ...in the area and spoke to witnesses. He was caught on camera wearing a dark-colored hooded sweatshirt with the hood over his head, a mask, and white gloves, walked past oh, the residence towards Greenway Avenue approximately 15 minutes before everywhere. the fire started. Ten minutes prior to the fire on July 9th, detectives were able to obtain surveillance footage from the fast-track gas station on Greenwood Avenue showing Sanders purchasing what appears to be a dark-colored torch lighter and cigars. Throughout this transaction, 
he removed the mask from his visage. Sanders was observed strolling on Woodlawn Avenue in the direction of 213 Woodlawn Avenue after leaving the store. For minutes after Sanders passed this camera, the video captures the reflection of light from the fire at 213 Woodlawn. Okay, so Michael was seen on additional video footage returning to his Bayard Street residence in Trenton. When he arrived on Bayard, neither a mask nor mittens were on his person. After analyzing this video, detectives canvassed the area and discovered a dark hooded sweatshirt at the bottom of a basement stairwell a few doors down from Michael's residence. First, we are following breaking news just into our newsroom within the last hour. Mercer County prosecutors say a man has been arrested for setting a fire that killed three people, including his own baby girl in Hamilton Township. Michael Sanders is facing a number of charges, including three counts of first-degree murder. Prosecutors say he was arrested this morning. The fire happened early last Friday. Sanders' nine-month-old little girl and her grandparents were all killed. Investigators say Sanders was seen on surveillance video buying a torch lighter and cigars. Michael Sanders is charged with three counts of first-degree murder, three counts of first-degree felony murder, three counts of second-degree aggravated assault, two counts. Some people need to get sentenced on the spot. Ain't no sense in taking them to trial. You're wasting the court payers' money. He should have been sentenced on the spot. You know what I'm talking about. Whole court in the streets. He shouldn't even made it to the police. Counts of second degree aggravated. One count of causing widespread injury or damage. Michael's history shows he had been violent in a kind of similar way in the past when he could not have his way with his ex-girlfriend. Police say 19-year-old Michael Sanders and the woman had been arguing all day over text message and she began ignoring his calls. She told police that when she arrived home, Michael... Now this is another girl they're interviewing about his past doing similar things. So he has a history of it, but what does she have to do with anything? These people have lost their lives. She's still living. Walked behind her car and fired seven shots into the vehicle. He fled the area but officers were able to find and arrest him. Princess went through a lot of pain, she posted days when she was down and missing her child so much but she had moved on. She has now found new love. She is now in love with someone who she says she loves so much. She and the other girl looked alike. Man, she looked similar to the other girl. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of those who were involved in this heinous crime. We do hope everyone who died in this incident gets the justice they deserve. May their gentle souls continue to rest in peace. Please be safe out there and see you guys in the next video. This is crazy. So, I wonder why this didn't hit national news because I'm just not finding out about most of this stuff that I'm watching. And it's... it's it's crazy that no one cares about the human life, well, the black human life anyway, because the response time was off, they was off, he was off, everybody was off on this one. Well, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good night.